Uh, Mr. Speaker, I rise with strong support. Please proceed. Uh, Mr. Speaker, at the center of the Polynesian Cultural Center is the culture of Polynesia. The term culture, Mr. Speaker, was first coined by Cicero when he wrote about the cultivation of the soul. In Latin, that is cultura animi. Animi is the, is the root word from which we find animate, but is also the root word of the Latin word animo, which is the soul, the immortal and the immaterial individual essence regarded as the source of life. Mr. Speaker, for thousands of years, the Polynesian people were the most scattered people on the face of the earth. They occupied islands in an area that could, you could fit the entire land masses of the globe combined, Mr. Speaker. They traveled with ease, they moved about the surface of the waters, and they looked at the waters, Mr. Speaker, not as a means of separation, but as a roadway, a highway that connected people. These people often referred to themselves, Mr. Speaker, as the Kaumuana, the people of the deep. And this also, Mr. Speaker, was not only reflective of what it was in the ocean that they found, but also about their perspective, their paradigm, their view of the world, their view of themselves, and the view of those around them. Mr. Speaker, we often come across Polynesians as a people who are fun-loving, very humble, can be very soft-spoken, but can also be very fierce in defending what they believe and what they know to be true. Mr. Speaker, we have been blessed and very fortunate to be gathered here on the land that is part of Polynesia, Mr. Speaker and is one of the most isolated pieces of land on the earth, which is home to one of the greatest spirits on the earth, Mr. Speaker, and that is the spirit of aloha. We have gathered here with us today, Mr. Speaker, a, a number of individuals who have ancestry from across the entire Pacific. And we come together at this time to celebrate a coming together for 50 years bringing brothers and sisters of the Polynesian community to share that spirit of aloha with those from around the world, which as the previous speaker identified, more than 30 million year, more than 30 million total, and almost a million every year. Mr. Speaker, the people come from around the world to feel the warmth of a people who are known as the happy people, as the friendly people, as those filled with aloha. Mr. Speaker, this resolution today honors those who have spent a very long time in an effort to lay the groundwork and foundation for those who will come after them in seeking a better life, in finding a way into the future. And that's why I think it's very appropriate and very fortuitous, Mr. Speaker, that this presentation follows that that was given by the good representative from Kauai on the Hokulea. Because the Hokulea, Mr. Speaker, is very symbolic of what we are trying to achieve as a Polynesian people in these islands and in this state, is wayfinding in a sea that is often fraught with storms, and challenges. Mr. Speaker, this is a gathering of people whose populations where it was not uncommon, where 60% of the people were wiped out by disease, by people where entire islands were taken and sold into slavery, Mr. Speaker. This is a people who are looking to meet the challenges of the 21st century, and yet we are here today. And Mr. Speaker, with that, I would like to introduce the guests who are here with us today. First, I would like to recognize President and CEO of the Polynesian Cultural Center, if you can please rise, President Albert Grace. President Grace graduated from Brigham Young University and began working at the Polynesian Cultural Center as a student performer. President Grace is the first of Polynesian ancestry to serve as the CEO and president of the Polynesian Cultural Center. We're very happy to have him here. Second, I would like to introduce Boyd Mossman, who is also of Polynesian ancestry and a graduate of Kamehameha High Schools. 
He's also a graduate of the United States Air Force Academy, George Washington University Law School, and served as Vice President of the Polynesian Cultural Center. Third, I would like to introduce, we have Uncle David Hanneman, who we are very blessed to still have with us today, Mr. Speaker. He is the last remaining of his generation of brothers and sisters who are here with us today. He has been an anchor and a pillar of strength for our community and continues to do so. We are very fortunate to have um, David Hadman with us. Fourth, Mr. Speaker, we have Cy Bridges, a graduate of Church College of Hawaii and the University of Hawaii. He has worked at the Polynesian Cultural Center as a theater manager, cultural presentation manager, vice president of product, and many more positions over the past 40 years, and currently serves as a director of protocol at the Polynesian Cultural Center. Mr. Speaker, the Polynesian Cultural Center is very fortunate to have one of the foremost experts in Hawaiian culture and history still at the center serving the people of Hawaii. Mr. Speaker, fifthly, we have Kalo Mataele Sokop, who has been a foundational figure for the Tongan community in the state of Hawaii, who was one of the first here to come um, from the Kingdom of Tonga to go to school at uh, Church College Hawaii. She has also been a very successful businesswoman and has also assisted thousands of others to get their education here in Hawaii. And last, Mr. Speaker, but certainly not least, is my grandfather's youngest sister, Fanny Harris, who was part of the young group of students who came out from the North Shore here into Waikiki at the very beginning of the Polynesian Cultural Center before it was even built as they were doing the test trials to see would a center work out there because everybody in the business community, everybody in the state said the Polynesian Cultural Center would never succeed. People would never go out there to see a show. And she was part of that group that stood on the side of the road waving at the tourists, performing at the hotels, up and down Waikiki with Kalo, getting people to come and see the show, Mr. Speaker, so that thousands of students would be able to pay their tuition. Mr. Speaker, we are very fortunate and blessed to have Fonda Harris with them. If we can make them feel welcome, Mr. Speaker, to the House. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, we like to follow in the footsteps of um, keeping those traditions that are with us, Mr. Speaker, and I would like to speak a little bit about the lays that we have uh, made with us today. In the making and presentation of a lay, Mr. Speaker, there isn't just a simple presentation of flowers or something that is nice, but when it is made, Mr. Speaker, it is made with the love and the spirit of those who made them. And with the lays that are made today, Mr. Speaker, they are made from the tea leaves, the flowers, and other plants that were grown on the North Shore in the very place where the Polynesian Cultural Center was born, from the very plants that were grown there with the love of those who had a vision and those who believed in something that others said could not happen. It is made by the hands of the children and the grandchildren of those who built the Polynesian Cultural Center. And into it is made the same love, is taken from their hearts and presented, Mr. Speaker, today. And so in the culture and in the traditions of the Polynesian people, we extend our gratitude and our thanks for those who continue to share that vision who continue to, pep to perpetuate those cultures for the betterment of not only our state, but for the world as a whole. And with that, Mr. Speaker, I express my strong support for the resolution. All right, thank you very much. Further discussion on this measure? Members? Yes, Representative Ward. Speaker, for strong support. <clears throat> Please proceed. Speaker, I wanted to commend the uh, Polynesian Culture Center for their entrepreneurship and for their education. 
You know, we have been really blessed on this floor to have the Hokolea last week and the Polynesian Culture Center this week because without the Polynesian Culture Center, people wouldn't really know Polynesia. Those who come to Hawaii and the million who do visit bring a flavor of what we are as a Pacific nation with Pacific cultures. And your place is a must visit for almost everybody. And one million people have attested to that. But without you and without the Hukulea, we would be a lesser people and a lesser destination. And from a little idea of way far away to build a business and say, if you build it, it'll come. You've proven it correct. And again, congratulations for a job well done. Okay, thank you very much. Further discussion, members, on this measure. If not, then we'll call for the vote. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. aye. Okay, motion is passed. Uh, Representative Fali, would you please proceed with the certificates and the lays? And It's my understanding that uh, the honorees have a short program prepared for us. Let's, uh, let's welcome them to the uh, chamber. Please proceed.
Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, if I if I may. Yes, please proceed. I would just like to uh, uh, introduce the uh, the performers. These are the the grandchildren of those who created the the uh, Polynesian Cultural Center itself, Mr. Speaker. Um, if we can just have the performers wait one moment. We have Aisha Matangi Mangale, if you can wave. Lassie Reed. We have Sam Moy. Mele Tilini, Tuvili Tui Savura, Alena Pule, Maria Keave Kuloa Nakila, and Titaina Pane'e. Thank you for being here. All right, members, thank you, and thank you very much for that wonderful performance. The chair will now call for uh, a recess to allow the members of the House to meet and congratulate the honorees. Recess. 